live on a piece of land called a rookery. Hey, they're great surfers. Yes, and it's high tide. Bouncing bananas. Welcome to Seal City. Can be up to 3,000 at a time. Where on earth are we going to land? Here's as good a spot as any. Nice view. Sea and sand, the best of both worlds. Paradise if you're a seal. Although they swim more than they walk. They're fast in the water and slower on land. Time then, I think, to go for a walk. Hi there, I'm Ed. This is Epper. Ed, they can hardly see you, let alone speak to you. You never know. Maybe me and the seals are going to be friends. Not unless you can manage in the water for weeks at a time. Weeks? Did you say weeks? Weeks in nothing but water? Take a look at their fur. It's like a wetsuit. Weeks? They're flipper-like legs and arms are not ideal for walking, but perfect for surfing. Oh, and of course a thick layer of body fat to keep them warm. Look! Wow! Hi, little fellow. I'd say he's a few weeks old. How can you tell? His coat. It's black and curly. In the next week or two, it'll change into olive grey. So they change from black to olive grey? Olive grey? Sure. Then at one year, it changes again into silver. Silver's cool. Then when they're all grown up, the females turn brown while the males turn grey or black. Oh, isn't he sweet? Whoa! It's icy! Bouncing bananas! We're in the middle of a mad splash. Get it on camera, Ed, because they'll be gone for weeks. Strange, isn't it, Epper? I mean, out there it's freezing, but it's warm over here. Seals and penguins, Ed, they love the ocean. So, Ed, for two gold stars, how deep would you say they dive? I don't know. Ten, maybe fifteen metres? An average of forty-five. Wow! One way. What for? For food. Lots of fish in the sea. Can you hear that? Sort of like a bark. That's a mum looking for her pup. What's are her chances in this crowd? The babies hear it and all come waddling. The mum then picks hers out by smell. See? Reunited. Mother and child. A picture of bliss. Whoa, Daddy! That's a lot of seal. 300 kilograms of main man. He is in his element. Females weigh an average of 120 kilograms. So, tell me about the family. Females give birth to one pup at a time. And that happens here on the rookery, right? Correct. At first, pups feed from their mums. You mean milk? To start with. Once they get to four months, though, they start on solids. Fish, squid and crabs. And how long before they hit extra large? Males between four and five years, and females between three and six. Peppa, for two gold stars, tell me why they're all sleeping. It's a form of relaxation. In between mealtime and playtime, what else but a snooze to fill the gap? But in broad daylight? I don't see any seals complaining. <laughs> I'm going to call this one Crick in the Neck. Or how about 40 winks? 40,000 winks by the look of it. I mean, it's eat, sleep, play, all day non-stop. Someone's got to do it, and obviously the seals are happy trying. And then, of course, I nearly forgot. There's always scratching. Wouldn't be right if they weren't, would it? By the way, pay no attention to me. No problems there. I'm just saying, you do whatever you have to do. I'm going to call this one Scratch Patch. Perfect. Weird to think they walk on flippers. 
Think of it in terms of swimming. Their flippers slicing through the water, pushing them through the surf. There, a pup suckling from its mum. But like you said, soon he'll be on solids. He's building strength so that by month seven, he can swim around for up to two days at a time. Must be a lot of goodness in that milk to get him off to a good start. Mother Nature is always best. You know what I need? What? A portrait. A pup on her own. No interruptions. See it up once and for all. Pick a direction. But you're going to be hard-pressed to find a pup on her own without supervision. Hey, how about you, me and the little birdie in the lens? Ed, careful. You don't want to be treading on Mum's flippers. Yeah, yeah. How about a little flipper wave? Hey, Ed, look at what's going on here. Probably two females squabbling over who gets the best nest. Where's best? The closer to the water, the better for them. Come in, Pipship, come in. Ready to call it a day? Not unless you're in the market for a nest. No, nope, but I could do with the next adventure. Well then, after you. So, Effa, where are we headed? I say we follow those birds onto our next adventure. Aye, aye. Click on the videos above to see more amazing animals. And be sure to subscribe.